I would say concrete cutting is uh, dangerous. In this video, I interview someone who's been breaking concrete for a living for 30 plus years. For my 20 plus segment of this channel, we speak to Dan Corrales. Watch the video gang as I interview Dan. I hope you like it. What's up gang? Flat Top John here. We're here for my 20 plus segment of my channel. And we're out here with Dan. Dan, can you introduce yourself? Tell us what you do, who you work for, and how long you've been working. Uh, my name is Dan. Um, uh, I work for uh, West Concrete Coring, the uh, Ben Hall Barras House. Uh, I've been working for a company for 30 plus years now. Uh, is that a mainland-based company or a local company? Uh, Penal is a mainland-based company. Okay. Um, what are the tools of your trade and how do you use them and what is the, what is the dangers of it? I would say concrete cutting is uh, dangerous. But you know, if you, if you get the proper training and um, proper training, you get proper knowledge, yeah, you know, it's like anything else. It's, everything is, you know, it's going to come easy. Cutting concrete, you must be a pretty strong guy. Because look at look at all this right. Look at all this. Look at all this. So you've been doing this for thirty years, huh? Thirty, a bit twenty years of cutting, and before that, I was uh, on that demolition side. So we, we break concrete, you know. So it's like demolition. Oh, that sounds interesting. When you when you de demolish the concrete, what does that entail? Everything is like jackhammer. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, everything, okay. everything is, you know, you, you break concrete, you, you got to go with jackhammer. Mm, mm, mm. So, everything is like, everything is manual, you know. Hear that gang? Some, it's like Thor already, I got Thor yeah. already. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe I, looking back on your, your, your 30 years combined of con cutting concrete, when you look back, what is the most challenging thing or the most challenging incident? Or even like if a challenging type of people what is the thing that what's the hardest I guess about the job when you look back again but that the hardest part is just getting up in the morning and get, and <laughs> get ready for work so it's all it's all uh like it's a mind thing you know mm -hmm. but, but once you pass that mind thing everything is you know the physical part that's it's all easy you know it's just getting up and it's just like the mind thing for me not about the physical part for me, but for him, easy, not for me. <laughs> okay. Was oh, this something you wanted to do from the beginning? What made you go into this field? Construction was in my plan. I was, I was, uh, I was, I like fixing cars a lot. So I was going to, uh, mecha mechanic. I was, I was going to military. You know, I, I joined, I signed, but I, I didn't pass my physical because my height and my weight didn't match. So I was too, I was too heavy for my weight. I mean, my height. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It's like I was like one defects of that. That's why I couldn't get in the military. So I said, ah, I got to go to plan B. So my dad, he was in construction. He said, hey, why don't you go construction? So mm -hmm. I thought, well, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. Then, you know, if, if it doesn't work out, because I know construction was hard. So I thought, well, I'll go give him a try. So that, that's how I ended up construction. I, 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 I gave it a shot. And then, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I didn't like it. Because everything was, uh, you know, the money was construction. The money was good, and um, I had the uh, you know. I, I like working out and all that. So construction was working out. So no, but that's why you know you know you you, you know free workout you know and all that guy. So that. like you're working out and you're getting paid at you're the paid same paid, time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> getting paid at the same time. You know. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. You, you, you know you, you you're working out and you're getting paid. Like wow, man, this is good. <laughs> and I don't <laughs> go to the gym anymore. <laughs> Were you? Aside from the hardest thing, what is the most enjoyable, most rewarding, or something that you really liked about doing your job for 30 years? Uh, I guess, um, I don't know, I, I, end of the day, you know, I feel good that I, I put in 100% of hard work in, you know, that's the, you know, you know I can really say in my heart, said, oh, I, I did my, you know, I give the company everything I got, the 100%, you know, every day. What is your drive? What is the motivation? For you, you know, for people to stay in something for, you know, five, ten, but you, 30 years doing this and you're still going, right? You're still going strong, right? Yeah. What is your motivation and your drive that keeps you going? Um, I guess, I guess it was the money. Construction, they, they, they paid us, uh, they, they paid us good money for cutting concrete. So I guess that was the motivation, making money, taking your family. 
No, no matter how hard was that, but, uh, but I knew that I was end of the day. I, I know I was gonna get paid, so that. So it comes down to man. <laughs> I want to tell you, hey, congratulations, and you know, we I like to interview people like you, hardworking people, and. Doing it for 30 years, 30 years, that's something, that's an accomplishment. I want to tell you, thank you for saying yes to this interview. And hey, we're proud pleasure. of you, proud Anything of you. Anything for my brother, John. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Flat Top John. If you like Dan and his hard work and what he's done and what he continues to do, click the like button on my channel. Also, if you really like what we're doing and we're finding these type of people, these hardworking people like Thor over here, Thor, Dan. <laughs> yeah, um, subscribe subscribe to my channel, please. Uh, How's that, gang? Cutting concrete for 30 years. Dan, I'd like to tell you, thank you for saying yes to this interview and allowing us to feature you for the 20 plus segment of this channel. Viewers, if you know someone and you'd like them featured here on this channel, and you know someone that has 20 or more years in any job, profession, or career, drop me an email. It's flattopjohn808 at gmail.com. You can nominate someone you know and let me help you feature them here on this channel for accomplishing 20 or more years in a job, profession, or career. Thank you for viewing, gang. Take care.